Yo, broski, what's poppin'? It's me, Joe. I'm just telling you what I'm eating to stay shredded, okay? What would you eat for breakfast, bro? So I'm always eating eggs and egg whites. Eggs and egg whites, that's always in my nutrition. Why? Because egg whites is really low calories, you can eat a lot, and it has a lot of protein. Pretty much only protein. And I like the taste, I like the texture. I'm always making omelets, putting onions in. I'm always eating a lot of vegetables, yeah? So let's start off with the breakfast. For example, my breakfast, now it's uh, late. So I have a late breakfast, but this is like, let's say my breakfast is two hours prior my workout, or it depends. When I need a lot of energy now, in a short period of time, I will eat carbs now. If I don't need carbs, I always try to keep them around my training. This is how I do it. I say a, a bit of carbs I always have through the day, but most carbs I have pre and post workout. So now it's like two hours prior my workout, so I will definitely try to get some carbs in, right? Because it takes like two hours, let's say on average, to digest something. So I can have some energy for that. Good, so eggs, egg whites, some veggies, like I have cucumber here. I like green vegetables a lot. I tell you why I like greens, like cucumber, paprika is a green one, have broccoli or like even cauliflower. Because veggies is really important, bro, because they have a lot of potassium and also magnesium and stuff. And potassium is really important to keep your water level on a good basis to stay ripped, stay shred, man. That's really important. So I always have a lot of greens to keep my potassium high and then also I have a lot of salt. I eat a lot of salt. Yeah, man, because if you have a lot of salt all the time, your body, and you drink a lot all the time, that's important. You drink a lot and you salt a lot and you have, like everything, you know your limits of everything, so you always take in as much as you need. Then you never have imbalances, and you never have too less sodium here, too much sodium here, and then one, if you have a lot of dif differences, your body will always be confused, and then save water, right time water, release water, so to be like good shredded all the time, drink a lot, salt a lot, your body regulates this by himself, trust me. And also carbs, this is the thing. Carbs also, they soak in more water. One gram of carbs are average, like pretty much four grams of water. Carbs are run training mostly, because carbs are also energy. So now, like I said, eggs and egg whites is for breakfast, then some veggies. Now I'm having cucumber. Tomorrow it's maybe broccoli. That always depends, right? And the amount also depending on how much calories you burn. I'm just telling you what, like, what kind of foods I'm eating and when do I place what kind of foods. So prior my workouts here, yeah, like two hours before that, I would have carbs now. And I'm having like rice cakes or rice, brown rice, white rice. All, all kind of carbs are okay, actually. Um, rice cakes, in my opinion, they're really good because they, they soak in water even more while they're digesting and make your stomach look even more ripped. Because I feel like they soak back the water from my stomach a bit. So make my abs look more tight. And white rice also does it, but less than rice cakes, actually. If I would not trade in like two hours, I, I would not eat too much carbs. I would just eat the no shit man dear. Now everything is burned. I would just eat <laughs> I would just eat my eggs and egg white and make a coffee with some milk inside, but uh, maybe two or three rice cakes, maybe 20 grams of rice cakes. That's enough. And then mainly put the carbs around the training. Yeah, so now I'm making this like kind of scrambled eggs, omelette, whatever you want to name it. And so before the gym, we need carbs, so that's why I'm putting it. So then after, uh, in, during my workout, true is that lately I started to experiment around through my workouts. I'm also having carbs, let's say before that, um, before the workout, one of these Pokari sweats is, I think, 30 grams of carbs. Yes, 28 grams of carbs. And I'm drinking this during my workout has electrolytes inside and stuff because you want to fuel your workout as good as possible, you know? When you are really shredded, I have to say this, your body is not really feeling well, uh, you don't feel too good all the time. So when you need energy, you have to make sure your body is also able to give the energy and this is why I'm also, during my workouts, I'm drinking carbs. That's what I do. And then post-workout, after my workout, I would also eat carbs, like rice or rice cakes again. And also pre-workout, now this is the next thing, before I go to the gym, in the gym, I'm drinking the Pokari sweat, and before the gym, I'm also eating a banana. A good pre-workout meal is some kind of banana, like a fast absorbing carb, so like digestion is fast, right? That this energy is actually there when you need it, right? So where's my garlic salt? How much carbs would I eat in general through the day, and how much am I even eating? This is also interesting for you guys to know, because how would you know how much is he really eating then to stay shredded? Yeah. So now let's say I would, I would in, I, I can't really tell because let's say it's like 50 grams pre-workout, 30, 40, 50 grams through the workout and then another 50 grams post-workout. So that makes like 150 grams 
in this like three to six hours period pre, during and post workout. 120 to 200 grams of carbs. And in total I eat maybe 300 grams of carbs. That's it. And I put them mostly around my training. So after the gym, when I would prepare my next meal, it would also be something with fast absorbing carbs, like rice, rice cakes again, rice, rice cakes, and then protein. I would not keep too much veggies, like say a bit of veggies, like 100 grams of broccoli, 150 grams of broccoli, and then um, maybe 200 grams of cooked rice with 200 grams of cooked chicken. That's it, man. That's, that's my breakfast. That's, that's my post workout meal shit, man. So now then I slice this. As the post workout meal is then also done, so I, 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 as you see, I don't even eat too many meals. Many people, they have a lot of meals that they eat, six to eight meals, no bro. I'm always trying to delay my food because I like to eat a lot, so I always try to have huge meals. And how I do that is like by delaying my calories for, to later during the day. I, when I don't move a lot, let's say I wake up in the morning and maybe I have a lot of work to do today or you go to your job or whatever, like I do have my work here. I just don't do much, I'm just sitting. So why would I need a lot of energy right now, right? Actually, if you're fasted, your brain works the best still. So I'm just having my coffee and then I do my stuff. And then once I need energy, yeah, I'm putting it in. And um, so pre-workout meal we got, post-workout meal we got. And then I have one more meal, I'm eating three times. I'm just eating three times, pre-workout, post-workout, and then another meal like my dinner. Let's say breakfast is like my pre-workout meal, in, in, my, in my case. I don't know what you're doing or when you're training, but for me it's mostly like that. And, mm, crazy sweet, what the fuck. Pre, post-workout and dinner. And then pre-workout is like two, it's like not pre-workout, it's not like the 20 minute thing before. Okay, then say breakfast pre-workout, post-workout, and then dinner, okay? This, this pre-workout is like, you know, I don't really count, it's like because I'm just having this banana or the Bukhari sweat and then I head to the gym. By eating the banana and then I head to the gym and during my workout I drink the Bukhari sweat or like a, gen, gen, a grenade drink or what is it called? Some carbs, like 30 grams through the workout, 20 grams exactly post uh, pre-workout with some salt, that's also what I do, I take salt. Like I said, if you drink enough, your body will regulate it by itself. What I'm eating for dinner, is my last meal then, right? So this is literally depending on what I'm doing. If I'm just at home, mostly then I'm having some eggs and egg whites again with chicken and a lot of veggies, a lot of veggies. Then I'm making a huge salad bowl or a huge veg meal because like I said, I like to eat a lot. As I can't eat much carbs, but it's still I can convert it because you have to know that you can make huge meals they stuff you and satisfy you with low calories. And this is also what I do a lot. I, I try to stay away from rice and put in only the needed amount that I need like for my workout and stuff to have the like carbs that actually do really good work because having eating vegetables also has carbs. Veggies also have carbs like green beans or corn. You know, veggies like in general also they have a lot of carbs, but these don't, let's say from, in my opinion, it's like more this fiber stuff and shit. So this is like good for your digestion and everything and healthy. So this is then what I'm eating. So repeat it again. Breakfast is like eggs, egg whites and some veggies. Then pre-workout, I'm having a banana and my Pokari sweat, then I head to the gym and then I'm training. After the gym, I'm having like 100 to 200 grams of rice with another two, 300 grams of chicken, 400 even sometimes, a lot of veggies then. Post-workout, I'm having my rice, like 100 to 200 grams, and then like a chicken or eggs, depending on what I'm gonna eat, or beef even, okay? And a little bit of veggies. And then my last meal in the evening, I'm having a huge veggie meal, salad bowl, whatever, with chicken. Also like some kind of protein, lean, Eggs, egg whites can also be the thing. It depends on how I feel, what I would like to eat today or what I wouldn't like to eat today too much. And during the day, I help myself out with a lot of sweetener that I'm using for my drinks. Or I'm drinking zero drinks like Coke Zero, Sprite Zero and all that stuff. And tea, coffee, black coffee a lot. And this is what I eat to stay lean, bro. If I feel like today I burn more calories because sometimes you're more active, yeah, of course I will put in more, but it's always about, you need to know that your body is a, a machine, an engine, and he will always burn or store what you feed him. So once he don't need the energy you feed him, he will store it. If he needs the energy you will feed him, he will use it, or if he doesn't have energy and you don't feed him, he uses probably fat or muscle. <laughs> he uses it to make energy, because if you don't give him energy, he will find something to use from your body to make energy for him. And in the worst case, he uses your muscle that you just built. And in the best case, he would use your fat. 
But if you are once there, you always try to stay in the maintenance, right? To stay shredded, you need to know the maintenance, exactly. You need to study your body and you need to know by footsteps and how you feel and everything, how much do you burn estimated? How much do you think you burn? And this is how you eat. And this is how you balance and play this game of I like to stay bread year round and then one day before you eat too much, one day oh I eat too less, oh you know what I mean, so it takes a long time to study yourself and get better in this, but this is like exactly what I do to stay ripped, stay shredded. And then the thing is, like I said before, I'm a flexible eater, so I also do the flexible stuff like okay today I don't have my breakfast like this. Sometimes I'm just eating like, okay, now I go to Subway and I'm eating a Subway sandwich and I'm just trying to calculate everything I'm eating, I'm calculating, eyeballing and try to think about how much is it in calories, how much protein, fats and carbs and then put this in my whole daily consuming calories or what is left in, into my total calories consumed and then I'm good and this is how I stay shredded. So you can actually eat everything you want but the problem is if you do it like flexible as hell then you have a lot of salt and carbs are we're adding a lot. The more you do it yourself and cook yourself, the more accurate you can work. The more accurate you work, the more better the progress and the better the process. And the less accurate you work or the less dedicated you are, the less you will bounce around. You understand, bro? I hope this one helps you to understand what I'm eating. So bro, to finish this off real quick, your meals should always include fats, carbs and protein, water <laughs> and potassium and salt. In best case, magnesium also, you know. But these you need to make your muscles work properly. And like I said, when you're already in a good shape, it's more easy. This is just how I say how to stay shredded. Right? I, I, I told you, right? I just tell you like how I eat, stay this ripped. And not even I can do it perfectly, you know. I'm also having a lot of difficulties every day or like without having my food with me all the time and you have to eat flexible and all that stuff. It's difficult, more difficult than you think, but you can try it out yourself now. I was showing you um, what I'm eating pretty much, right? It's literally carbs around the training. That's how I feel about nutrition. A lot of intermittent fasting and stuff. Always deplete your body and then refeed your body. Always deplete your stuff and then refeed everything. And that's pretty much it, bro. This is how I eat to stay shredded. And I have another video how I explain my diet forms, like from normal dieting to carb cycling and then intermittent fasting. Watch this one also. Coming soon, bro. And thanks for watching. Peace, bro.